Welcome. In front of me is a Oppo Find X9 and today I'll show you how we can go through the setup process of this device. So, when you boot it up for the very first time, you should be presented with the same screen you can see on my end right here. And all you want to do is just start off by clicking on the arrow. Next, select your desired language, which for me is English, which is what I want to use. Moving on to the next page, we have select region. Now, I'm going to pause right here and just kind of go a little bit into depth. Now, I don't know if this is exactly how it would work. Uh, there's not really much I can check it with yet. But if you're in specific regions uh, that aren't as favorable, like UK, as an example, uh, which claim that you have, for instance, freedom of speech, but you technically don't, and they are pestering US companies to basically give them a ba back access to their operating systems like iOS's or Androids. Um, now, as far as I know, that kind of went uh, nowhere. But then if company did give them back access to their systems, then they'll also be obligated to not disclose this. So if they have back access, we, we don't know about it and we won't know about it. And uh, anyway, selecting that your region is UK could possibly open you up to this kind of creepy, just spy um, kind of uh, approach that, you know, government can just check your phone for no effing reason without any kind of legal uh, requirements like, uh, I don't know, a court order or something like that, right? They can just do it like, oh, uh, let's see what Joe has on his device just because he looked weird at me. Now, so that's one thing. Another one, uh, as an example, could be things like with Apple, where European Union is forcing Apple to basically open up their entire ecosystem to alternative stores. And they're obviously uh, basically being a little spoiled shits, uh, uh, kicking and screaming and trying to just not do this and getting fined. But eventually, if they haven't already, they will do it. Uh, otherwise, y you will just start increasing the fines. Um, so in cases like this, uh, if you're in US and you select that in US, Again, this is theoretical. I haven't actually checked, nor do I have a way to check it yet. Um, if you're in US, obviously, Apple won't let you download third-party stores. That's where their 30% cut comes from. So you will basically be the location where you would have access to it, but anywhere else, it's like, no, uh, yeah, no, 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 you don't get that. So just be wary of that. Uh, might be better to select regions that are outside of US or, uh, for instance, UK, stuff like that. I personally like where I live just because we have pretty good laws, consumer and uh, otherwise. So anyway, I'm going to select um, Poland. There we go. Boom. Perfect place now. Uh, next, we have legal information, user agreement, privacy policy and data security. Wow. Seriously, Google, you going to tell me about data security? <laughs> good joke. Um, now there is I want to point out we're not really agreeing to anything here. We're just selecting next. As far as I know, next isn't agree. But okay. Uh, set up using another device. So if you have a second phone, uh, which just disappeared, let me just try that again. There we go. It will show up automatically on your device like this. Set up new device. So uh, this allows you to basically move over the data that is associated with your Google account to this device, which would include things like your Google account along with uh, contacts that are on that Google account and some other info like, for instance, downloaded applications. Though it's not importing the applications itself, it's importing the data that this phone should now go to the Play Store and download these apps. Now, it's uh, absolutely effing useless if you tend to keep yourself off of, uh, you know, um, cloud storage or storing like any data on the cloud, like contacts, because storing contacts is like just giving Google a list of personal informations of all of your friends without their permission for them to basically monetize. I just despise this. So uh, anyway, with that in mind, uh, other options that wouldn't be affected is like if you, for instance, have something like me, which is things like, for instance, no stop, uh, CloudStream. CloudStream is a application that is downloaded from GitHub, not Play Store. It's not available on Play Store. And this application wouldn't be downloaded on here. 
because it's not available on Play Store and what is being transferred is just this info that, hey, could you kindly download this app? Because it was downloaded from Play Store on the other device, so download it here too. But if it's from anywhere else, oh, no, 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 do this work yourself. Otherwise, piss off. So it's useless option to, to transfer over the data. And that being said, uh, if you want to transfer over data from your old phone to this one, there's actually a better way using uh, their built-in clone phone application, which I'm going to show once uh, I finish the setup, if I will remember, actually. I will try to. Now, anyway, moving on, here we have connect to Wi-Fi. Uh, this tip is optional. You don't need to do it on this device, at least. Uh, there are some that force you, but here we are free to just skip this if we want to. And furthermore, I have to appreciate the fact that um, Oppo doesn't lie about the like you skipping this. So it gives you a quick message. Uh, you need to connect to the internet. Wait, need. Need is a strong word. That's a lie. You don't need. Um, to the internet uh, for the next operation. Okay, never mind. I I guess I lied too because it does give you bullshit. Uh, please connect to Wi-Fi or use mobile data. Wow. Oh, okay, so never mind. They just give you a, a thing, skip button, and then tell you, haha, no, good joke. <laughs> we got you. Connect. Uh, so, piece of shit wants me to connect. I guess I don't have an option. God forbid I was able to set up my device the way I want to set it up. Uh, instead, I'm going to be setting it up the way Oppo wants me to, because fucking Winnie the Pooh wants my data. Absolute garbage. Um, that being said, OnePlus doesn't require you to do this, and also Vivo doesn't require you to do this. Pick up Vivo. It's basically the same phone, which comes with the case, uh, but it doesn't just kind of, you know, noose you into doing what Winnie the Pooh wants you to do. Um, so yeah, go get that. It's literally the same phone. It's made by the same parent company, so screw this one. Um, my social credit score is probably gone by now. Okay, moving on. Wow, if I didn't connect the network, guess what you wouldn't need to do? Check network info. Would have been nice. Okay, uh, copy apps and data. Now, this is another way to copy bullshit uh, ways of uh, apps and data. We're going to skip this. Like I said, I'm going to be showing you a better way to do this. That doesn't include Google. We do have the option to sign into our Google account. Uh, again, this actually is optional. We don't need to do that which again, uh, forcing us to sign into network absolutely means F all if I never wanted to sign into Google account. Just food for thought. Connect to mobile network. No, we don't need that. You already forced me to sign into Wi-Fi, so we can skip this. Native unlocking method, which doesn't require a network connection, so I don't know what the hell did I need to connect to Wi-Fi for. Uh, anyway, uh, we have a couple different ways of uh, protecting our device. We have password, fingerprint, and face recognition. Now, under password, there are three different methods of unlocking your device. That'd be numeric, alphabetical, uh, pattern, or well, cancel. Now, um, you can select either one of those options, and you will need to select one of those if you're planning to use either fingerprint or face recognition. Now, the finger and face are basically a biometric unlocks which biometric scanners here aren't 100% reliable. And in the times where your phone decides to have a stroke and not recognize you for, I don't know, whatever reason, maybe you just have a tiny little blemish on your face and uh, no longer recognizable to the device uh, with a face recognition, or maybe you just, you know, cut your finger and you no longer can unlock it. Uh, that will leave you then with the other option being pin pattern or password, which doesn't change based on a phone's mood. Now, you can also not protect your device at all, though I wouldn't recommend doing so, as your phone contains your personal information. So if you were ever to lose that device, it would be in your best interest that whoever finds it doesn't have just access to every data that is on your device. Now, I'll be skipping it. 
because it's not my phone. Next, we have Google services like location scanning and sending user and diagnostic data. Now, I want to point out, number one, if you're uh, buying this phone in China, and you're probably not watching this video, but just hypothetical, let's assume you are, this uh, means nothing. I, no matter how much you try to not be spied on, you will be. I mean, your social credit score need to be kept somehow. And uh, for everyone else in the world, uh, just know that these options here mean absolutely F all. You can turn that off, use location, you can turn off uh, scanning and allow phone number ver... Wait, what? Okay, that's new. I haven't seen this one. Uh, so we have this one and we have the send user and diagnostic data. We can turn that off as well. So uh, let's, let's start it off with this. Send user and diagnostic data would imply that no data is being sent user or diagnostic. Now, any kind of data that is associated with this device would be user data. Now, the reason I'm saying that is because this means nothing because your phone will still send data. Number one, it connects to cell tower and that data is being gathered. It's user one, but yet it's still being gathered no matter if you turn that off or not. Uh, turning off location and scanning would imply that your device uh, doesn't connect to network, right? I mean, or doesn't know your location more like, uh, but it doesn't use location uh, through Wi-Fi or GPS. Guess what? It can use it through Bluetooth, uh, cell towers and other means by connecting and daisy chaining off of other devices, which obviously means that this uh, toggle here means F all. Great. And just to give you a little bit of a for further kind of insight into this, if turning off even the toggle for Wi-Fi and all that stuff and just putting your phone in airplane mode uh, would work like it's supposed to, then criminals that go do their nefarious things in the wild with their phones in airplane mode wouldn't be found. And yet they somehow are because these toggles means absolutely nothing. And your privacy doesn't exist if you're using Android like this. Um, so Graphene OS for the win. Anyway, moving on. Uh, Choose your browser and search engine. Who we're gonna select next, and we're gonna select our browser. You know what? I'm gonna select Firefox because that's the only browser here that is not based on uh, Chromium, as far as I can tell at a first glance. That's number one, and number two, it allows for installation of something like uh, Adsenium or Adsonium, however you pronounce this. Let me quickly check. Um, Odnasium, there we go. Um, highly recommended. So we're gonna set that as default and then we're gonna select our search engine. Uh, I want to point out search engines here are very limited. Uh, you can add custom ones if you want to because there are definitely way better search engines nowadays than what we have as garbage offerings right here. So honestly, I would be selecting Yandex but it's not present here unless I'm just very blind. So at this moment, I'm going to select a Bing as this is uh, still better than Google for some reason. Not sure how we got to the point where Bing is better than Google, but we got here. And next we have uh, review additional apps. So basically, hey, would you like some uh, trash malware applications like AliExpress, Booking, Cashback and some other crap? If you want it, that's great. You can install them. I don't. So I'm going to be checking all of them off. Recommended services, how to update overnight, global search, uh, weather services. There is one that I want to find, which will be, I think it's this one. Lux Screen Manager provides you with high quality wallpapers. Yep, that's the one. Uh, you would want to turn that shit off. Believe me, you do not want this crap. And I'm gonna keep it on just so I can show you this as well. So moving on, wow, there is a whole heap of different things right here. So you can go over all of them, turn them all off if you want to. But I definitely recommend turning off that uh, wallpaper crap. Uh, screen mode, so just coloration. And then uh, we have navigation, uh, buttons or gestures. I'm going to stick with gestures, which is selected. And this basically finishes up the setup. Now, like I mentioned, first thing to import your data, you would be looking for the phone clone application, which is the one, I believe it's this one, right? Nope, never mind, that's not the one. Oh, there it is. This tiniest little thing right here which was, oh, there it is, clone phone. So you can use this to basically import data, all the data from your old phone 
and it works like a freaking charm. So that's one thing. Another one would be the uh, wallpaper carousel. So here we go. Here, here we have our glorious wallpapers. Can you like, whatever. So these are so far okay-ish. Okay, this one just looks like a fun art 3D garbage. Um, again, uh, a, a little bit of uh, anime right here. If you don't want to look like an absolute weeb, uh, maybe not the best options. Moving on. There are some like very weird ones. There's some random dude. Um, cool. Random lady. Again, more weep. Han Solo. I'm not even sure how is this visible here, considering I'm pretty sure they didn't make a deal with Disney, which means that they're just uh, straight up ripping these images from somewhere where they don't, they shouldn't be profiting from. Um, oh, great. Now, I want to point out things like this. So you have wallpaper, random ass wallpapers like this, which if I do this and this, now we have a different one. Now, I cannot imagine any worse way than coming back home and having to explain to, uh, for instance, a spouse, uh, girlfriend, wife, why the fuck did I have a random wallpaper on someone on my phone that then disappeared like I'm trying to hide it? <laughs> can you imagine how problematic that would be? Because I sure as shit can. So, uh, like I said, this... A controller. Great wallpaper. So, like I said, this is a horrid option right here that I recommend throwing off as it is just like these wallpapers are pretty bad so anyway um, that about sums it up now I hope you found this very helpful and if you did don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching